Hello friends, today we are going to see how to create a binary search tree. So if you are given an array and you are told to create binary search tree, then here are some steps which are helpful in, in creating binary search tree. So this is the first step. Make the first element as the root. So the first element in the array we will make it as the root and second for next element so the next element if value is less than the node value means this is the already created node if this value is less than 12 so then we have to go to left if the value is greater than the node value means if 15 is greater than 12 then we have to go to right so in this case 15 is greater than 12 so we go to right and as the place is empty we will attach 15 to the right of 12 now uh, so that is the third step if the place is empty then place the node so we have placed it so let's solve the example now the next node is 5 5 is less than 12 so we will attach it to the left uh, left link then 9 9 is less than 12 but greater than 5 so we will attach it to the right side of 5 so we have finished 9 then 1 1 is less than 12 less than 5 so it will come to the left side of 5 then 3 3 is less than 12 less than 5 but greater than 1 so it will come to the right side 20 20 is greater than 12 greater than 15 it will go here. then 17 is greater than 12 greater than 15 but less than 20 so it will come here then 19 so 19 is the new node 19 is greater than 12 greater than 15 less than 20 and greater than 17 so that is 19 then 2 2 is less than 12 less than 5 and uh, greater than 1 but less than 3 so it will come here then so these are the finished nodes then 4 less than 12 less than 5 greater than 1 less than uh, greater than 3 also so it will come here 4 and now 16 greater than 12 greater than 15 less than 20 and less than six, uh, 17 so it will come here so this is how we create binary search tree now we will see how to write program for this so let's see the program now this is the structure for our program the name of the structure is BST that is binary search tree and inside the structure there are three variables one is value then a left pointer and the right pointer and these are the three pointer variables of the data type struct BST so now let's go to the pseudo code this is the array on which we are going to execute this pseudocode and I will show you how the program works in this space so first the root value is a of 0 means this 0 a of 0 is the root so 12 becomes the root so we will make it as the so the root pointer points to 12 now so for all other nodes that is for i is equal to 1 to n n is the size of the array 
so for all other nodes we are going to follow this procedure so let's see for i equal to 1 this is the first iteration now q gives value is equal to a of 1 a of i means i is 1 now so q points to 18 now p equal to root so now we make pointer p to point to root now the question is where is the right position of 18 here that will be found out in this while now while 1 if q value is less than or equal to p value so whether 18 is less than or equal to 12 no it's not so this if condition doesn't satisfy so we move to else so else if q value is greater than p value means whether 18 is greater than 12 yes it is so we can go inside this else if so here if p gives right equal to equal to null so as 18 is greater than 12 we have to go to the right of 12 and we have to check whether the right of 12 is null means whether the space is empty or not so is it empty here yes it is empty so we can attach 18 here so that is what we have done here we have attached 18 p use right is equal to q this means we have attached 18 to the right of 12 going to the next node that is 12 so let's check here in the while loop directly i will go into the while loop now whether 12 is less than or equal to p p is uh, 12 yes it is equal to 12 12 is equal to 12 so we have to check whether left of p left of p is null or not in this case it is null it is empty so we have to attach 12 to the left going to the next value 1 so check whether 1 is less than 12 so yes 1 is less than 12 so we go to the left of 12 so we go to the left and we check whether the left is null or not here it is not null so p's left is not null there is already a node present here so what we do we go in else p is equal to p gives left so p shifts here p is equal to p gives left means p shifts to the left of p so now p is pointing to this 12 so again we move up in the while loop and while loop starts again so again we check whether 1 is less than this 12 yes it is so we check whether its left is null or not yes it is so we attach 1 to the left of 12 so that is how we find the correct position of 1 then moving to the next 3 so check whether 3 is less than or uh, equal to 12 so here I have to tell one important point now at every at every next element at every for loop right now our index is 4 i is 4 here so p points to the root means previously p was po pointing here so whenever a new element comes p again goes to the top and will point to the root so for each element we will check from the root and p will go whatever the element whether is greater or less so p will go in that direction so check whether a of 4 that is 
3 whether 3 is less than or equal to 12 yes so check whether left of 12 is null no so move p to this then again check whether so again the while loop will execute and again we have to check 3 is less than or equal to 12 yes go to the left but left is not null so we have to again go to uh, the left of p means p will move to the left of p left of this node so now check whether 3 is less than 1 no so we have to go in else whether 3 is less uh, 3 is greater than 1 yes so we can attach it to the right of 1 so this is how the pseudo code is executed if you want the full program then you can go to the link github.com slash vivekananda 44 you can find out the full program on this link and you can use the code for your work thank you hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below Thank you.